Early voting in Washington, D.C. is underway with would-be voters casting their ballots ahead of the November 5th general election. Standing by live is VOA's Anthony Labruto, who joins us now to give our viewers an inside look at some of the specifics of the voting process as he casts his ballot for the first time in the U.S. Capitol. Anthony? Hello, how's it going, Esther? Waiting to hear from you. <laughs> yes, so... I, so I'll actually be, I have a little bit of a unique situation is I'm a first time voter in Washington, D.C. So I came from uh, my previous home state of New Hampshire, but I moved down here to start this wonderful job with the Voice of America. And now I'm looking to vote. And so what I, what I can do is I will be coming in, registering and then voting right behind me. So all I have to do is I have to bring a copy of uh, some sort of proof of residency. In this case, I'll be bringing a copy of my rental lease agreement. I then uh, walk right behind me right to the election workers just off screen. They'll give me a registration form. I fill that out. That just says, you know, oh, I swear who I say I am and I'm not voting anywhere else. And then they then give me a ballot. And so the ballot is broken up into two separate parts. That's going to be a federal and a state portion. And so the federal one is uh, just two questions. But the most important one, though, is who would I like to pick for the next four years as president? And that'll be the question that'll face every Washington, D.C. voter right behind me. And so I have three choices. I have uh, Robert F. Kennedy, Donald Trump, and Kamala Harris. And so and then on the second portion of that, I have the state ballot initiatives. And so that is electing local city councilors, local commissioners, um, some local uh, ballot initiatives, like how votes are tabulated. That's been a really, really big one, is how um, now that the votes are counted, how will they be determined for the next election? Uh, Anthony, can you give our viewers perspective on how the uh, voting in Washington, D.C. itself differs from other states in, in America? Absolutely. So Washington, D.C. is a bit of a unique situation in that it's actually not a U.S. state. It's a territory. So that differentiates in the fact that Washington, D.C. voters here, uh, their votes for federal election and for president, unfortunately, won't be factored in to the final results of the national federal elections overall. And so like, like Washington, D.C., Guam, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, all are also territories that elect their own state governments, their own uh, state you know, parliament, parliaments, if you will. But the national elections that we vote in, unfortunately, will not get factored into the, into the other things. 